This will basically show how the test set is constructed. That's the output bus, 2500 amp, 50 millivolt shunt. That's the analyzer that I built that we use for these tests. That's my computer with the BTSA-3 analyzer that shows the waveform there. This is the inside of the test set. See all the bus work. The shunt down in the bottom there for the millivolt reading from the current. Those are all solid state diodes. These originally had selenium rectifiers. There's the three phase transformer. The input, three phase variable. That's the connection between the two test sets. This is the test set itself. The MAC20, which I designed. It's normally used for AC test sets, but also for DC test sets such as this. That's our power source. That's the input. Side of the test set. For the flashlight, so you can see a little bit better. Large contactor, three phase multi tap transformers, large power stat. Back with the instrumentation. better view of the output section showing the shunt rectifiers and the output there's another test set that I designed fairly recently in the last two or three years this is a PI 2500 that section with the instrumentation And the auxiliary section. Those are the standard output stabs right there for standard breaker stabs. That output you can hook in series and parallel or connect up to the input of this auxiliary unit, which is back here. That's the inside of the auxiliary unit. Huh? So it has four power stats all hooked as a stack and it's motor operated. There's a synchronous motor in the blue blue case right there. Those are solid state relays there. And a large fan at the bottom to keep the whole thing cool. This is an older test set made by one of our competitors. It's actually Hypotronics, also Hubble. That's their original controller there. I worked with their engineer 20 years ago or so at uh, Phoenix Technologies out in Accident, Maryland. So Hypotronics no longer makes these test sets. It shows the interconnect. Back. and the output. You can see they actually used a piece of wooden plywood or something there for the output. Normally we use a piece of phenolic.
Here's some of the stuff that comes out of these uh, test sets. One of the old multi-amp uh, metering units. This is a CB7140. And that's really the same thing as what I retrofitted. So this is interesting that it shows the way the test set was originally. And you can see the output section there. 3,000 or 4,500 amps continuous. It'll put up uh, five to ten times that into a short or into a breaker. Some more stuff that came out of the test set there. And you can see what the inside of that looked like. A little output transformer. And this SCR that we installed in that. Originally it had a contactor. It's probably that guy right there. Some other stuff that was in that test set. Here are a couple of the circuit breakers that are tested on these uh, test sets. You see the stab fingers there? It's probably about a two, three thousand amp test set for a breaker. RMS9 solid state trip unit. That's an even older breaker. I think that's something like 600 amps. Low voltage power circuit breaker for 600 volts is really low voltage. Medium voltage is anything from 600 to 5,000, and above that is high voltage. See, they sometimes use multiple cables all in parallel to that, so you can adapt the test set to the circuit breaker. This is an old EIL BTS 500, one of the first test sets that I was involved with. At EIL. That was back in the mid 70s, 75, 76. You see the big transformers in there. That's the control unit, which has been retrofit with a Mac 20 and a new control panel. And the output unit. Works on 208, 240, 480, or 575 volts. Inside that window, there's a big terminal block where you can set the voltage. This is a little more modern circuit breaker. I think that's about a 4,000 amp unit. I'm not sure if it works. It has that micro versa trip plus trip unit in it. Sixteen hundred amp. Yeah, there's quite a lot of contact fingers there. That's a good connection to the bus bars inside the cubicle. <laughs> 